Hi, welcome to the Home Engineers channel. Today what I'm going to be talking about is something that's fascinated me for a long time, which is rotary broaching. I don't normally make tools that I don't need, but because I was so interested in um, the subject, I wanted to just to see how it worked. So I opted to make a rotary broaching tool, which I can use both on the lathe and the milling machine. So what I've done is I've produced a thread in the back to take the two arbors, the R8 and the three Morse taper. And they literally just screw into the back. And what I've done is I've actually machined uh, a groove in it so I can put a C-spanner in there uh, to assist getting um, it removed. I've already set the tool to the correct height. And how I did that is I've got a sleeve in there which I can lock down um, with a key in the side there. And I am going to put another one the other side to actually hold the collet. And then underneath it, I've got an, a grub screw, M8 grub screw, which I can then adjust the height of the tool because obviously it needs to be at the correct height for it to actually work. What I've done is I put a slip on here of 24 millimeter because that is the distance that it needs to be from this face to get this to be running um, concentric or, or I say on, on, on the center of the one degree angle. Um, and I just put a clock on top of that and then I, I adjust this from underneath. And unfortunately you can't see it, but there is a, in the, there's a threaded portion in the middle, which is like the collet, which then can adjust the tool. So each of the cutters will have its individual um, collet so that I can then just leave them preset. So all they do just keep swapping them out. Um, and that's why I need to drill another hole in this side, which will actually lock the collet in place. And this one actually locks the, this hole here, locks the tool in place. And obviously once it's set with the depth, that'd be fine. I've also added a grease nipple and that is sunk so that when this is rotating in the milling machine, especially, um, you haven't got any chance of anything snagging or catching on it or, or, or knocking it off or hurt, hurting yourself. Um, so right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you how this works. This centre part is actually at one degree inside the main body, being machined at one degree inside the main body. And what I've then done is I've put it in the machine and I've turned over the top to get it all concentric because it's made in two pieces. Um, I don't know if you can see, there is a, a there we go, you can just see that there, so it's made in two sections. So this top piece has got the one degree angle on it and this is all being machined parallel for the bearings. Then it was bolted to this piece which had the one degree angle on it and then it was turned all true to give you the one degree um, that you need for the tool to move. I'll put this into the I'll screw this in and load it into the milling machine and then I can actually show you the, the wobble that you get. Right. So let me just zoom in a little bit. So you can see the main body is running concentric, but you've got a wobble on the tool. Now this is in bearing, so I can actually hold this, and then you can see the actual movement that the tool is making. It's like an oscillating, there is a special word for it, I don't know it, but it's like an oscillating movement. So when this comes in contact with the workpiece, and I've already drilled, uh, a hole in the workpiece to save time on the video. When the tool goes down, this piece will stop. Obviously this will keep rotating because it's part of the main shaft and this will stop. So let's show you that now.
point. Got a little bit of lubrication on it. Okay. Right, so now what I'm going to do, this is a 316 hexagon hole. Uh, I've drilled the hole uh, 4.8, which is um, 4.8 millimeters, which is 316, so that it's only taking out the corners with the cutter. Right, let's bring it down into, bring it down into plate. So as you can see, the, the tool is just moving around, cutting away. And that has gone through. Quick block for the airline. And you can see that it's cut. A nice hexagon hexagon the previous one i did was just a test so you can see how quickly that went through the um workpiece to create that that hexagon i hope this has been of interest to some people and it sort of explained a little bit about um, internal broaching um, if you've liked it please subscribe and thank you for your time